our garden. Uh, that greenhouse is gone, it's gone to the allotment. Uh, this greenhouse now I'm going to take down, that's going up to uh, up my house up the road with the small garden where I can put my heated bed in. But just to show you, uh, in nine months of me leaving, uh, I left in September last year, uh, how it's just totally overgrown. Uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, the, the, the beds where I, I used to have, uh, the chickens, Butchers are still there, all the washing has been taken down because uh, our barber doesn't want them. So, uh, but believe it or not, there's actually potatoes coming up here. Uh, must have been what was left in from last year. Uh, I did dug most of them out, but as you can see, uh, they're coming up. Uh, but everything is just so, so overgrown. Right, I have to get on and start taking the glass out of this greenhouse. Well, it's the 17th of May. Beautiful day. Uh, I'm getting on with my greenhouse, as I said earlier. I've um, got, I would say, half the glass out. Uh, I'm going to start on the roof now, uh, which I, I never fancy doing in the greenhouse. But um, I'll have to get on with it, and I'll just show you how far I've gone. Uh, but aren't I thankful? It's a beautiful day. The glass out this side. I've got the door off, and I've got the grass out. The, at the uh, the other side of it, so I've got the the two roofs to do and the back to do. It's just I'm struggling with the back. With there's, there's nettles around it everywhere since I left in September. It's unbelievable, isn't how fast they grow. All the glass out. Now stands this mantle the roof. Uh, hope to be able to get just keep the four sides together. Uh, just uh, dismantle them at the corner. Hopefully, That's it, the part of the front off. Amazingly enough, it come apart quite easy. I mean, I've, it's been here about five years. Uh, before that, it must have been at least 10 to 15 years old where it was then. That's a greenhouse down. Uh, it's just a case now of walking it up to my other, other little house. All I've got to take is the door, and there's plenty of gla uh, glass to go. But that'll be it then. As you can see, bottom of the garden got rid of the green shed. That's gone to the tip. Cleaned everything up. Uh, got my greenhouse in bits from our garden up the road and broke it down here. Uh, so all I've got to do now is make a wooden base for it, for that to sit on, uh, and that's uh, another good job for me to do. See the garden's in a bit of a mess, I've got that many plants that I've brought up from our garden down the road. Uh, not, not a great deal of places to put them, I'll have to take someone up to the allotment, but I want to do a lot of sorting out what plants I want and what I don't want, but I don't want to get rid of them yet. You know what it's like when you, you like your garden and your, your gardening. So, uh, I've started on them panels anyway. I've given them a coat of uh, chestnut brown, and uh, it's come, that's just one coat, so another coat, I think, and then I can put all the plants uh, in front of it again. But down the bottom of the garden is where my greenhouse is going to go on the left with the heated bed. So, I've had to uh, take that fence down because it was just rotten away, and I actually want to be able to, uh, to paint before I put the greenhouse up because once the greenhouse is up, I won't be able to get to it. Also, the neighbour at the back has kindly agreed to have that tree uh, cut down, so uh, I'm going to cut that down because that just pushes the fence, that's why it's all, all rotten, broken. Uh, and also, uh, in the autumn, the little yellow flowers and the leaves that come off this tree is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, so I'll be glad to get rid of it because it'll save me a lot of clean, especially going all going over my greenhouse and at the back of the greenhouse. Uh, so, uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, my bed and out plants and my hanging baskets uh, uh, today. Uh, I've, I've started them off, so um, I'll be able to, once I've got the garden sorted out, put in a nice place. Um, there's a few there I've done, I've hung up. They've got uh, begonias in, um, busy lizzies. Uh, petunias, so there's a variety of uh, plants. There's a few, good few more of the little shrubs I've brought up and climbing plants from our garden up the road. So I don't know where they're all going to go, but I'm sure they'll be. I can give them away if uh, if, uh, if I can't make use of them here. Yeah. Yeah, so that's my weekend up to now. So um, I'm hoping my son's going to come sometime. As I said, this uh, week and possibly even sometime today and have a look at this train here because he does a bit of gardening, so we've got a chainsaw, so he'll hopefully cut that up for me, get rid of that, then I can get on with the fence. Uh, maybe sometime next weekend. Uh, 
painted the uh, the fence for me, so that's had two coats now, and the uh, it's just the uh, he's going to start the bottom piece. All got the tree down for me uh, earlier on the week, and uh, Nate's just painting that last panel for me. Uh, I'll have to buy a new panel for here before I put the greenhouse up. As you can see, that one is is well rotted, so I'll get a new panel for there. Now the tree's gone, I'll. I'll be able to extend my fence, feather edge fence, to there, and then paint that, and then hopefully I'll be then be able to put my greenhouse up. Today, it's Saturday. Um, I think it's the uh, the twelfth of uh, July, uh, and I've made my base for my uh, greenhouse, so that's all done. On uh, I've given a coat of paint, so it's a wooden base now. It's all level, so uh, I can now start erecting my so greenhouse. I put my greenhouse up yesterday. Um, got it on its uh, plinth and also started with the glass uh, at the back and at the side go away to actually uh, get the glass in the in the very back of the greenhouse right up against the um, the wall I thought once I put it in it might be heavy to actually push the greenhouse back which which it is believe it or not it's got a bit of weight in the glass so what I've done I used a copper tube in uh, four pieces so I could roll, put it underneath and I rolled it uh, both ways. I done the back, uh, well the side first at the back there and uh, I rolled it out this way towards me and got the glass in and then I went and done the, the reverse on the, on, the, on the back of it. Uh, I put the copper pipes under, under these edges then over the side and just rolled it backwards and forwards so it worked quite well so that's that uh, sorted out. Just uh, fitting the glass, got the back done and uh, one, one, one pane le uh, left to do on the roof and then that's here uh, the roof done so getting there slowly but surely. Right, most of the greenhouse is up there's only a little bit of glass to put in now the door and then just the glass on the right of the door all the rest is done so there's the legs from my heated bed. I've decided I'm going to give them a paint before I put them in because uh, especially with being in the small back garden you'll see it more. So I'll give it a bit of August. And as you can see, greenhouse is all up and running now. Uh, I've got my heated bed in. I did take videos of me actually putting it together and painting it. But unfortunately there must have been enough memory on my phone and it... Um, it didn't take so basically what I've done is the sand uh, there's two inches of sand in the base uh, there's pla I put plastic down this is all made out of uh, pallets uh, you get uh, from certain places and I, I, I just broke them up and uh, I made this heated bed with it uh, and what I did then I made the sides and I put plastic sheeting in uh, all the way around to, to hold so no water or moisture goes through and then there's two two inches layer of sand, and then my cables laid down, and then on top of that is another two inches of sand, um, uh, and on top of this, what I will do, I'll actually put like a black sheeting, uh, plastic sheeting bags. I just cut them up and put them on top, and then I'll be able to start my uh, plants nice and early. I've also made uh, a bench on this side uh, to keep me uh, my plants in. And I overwinter some of them in these uh, little uh, containers here. I make um, uh, a plastic see-through top for that uh, later on, just before the winter starts, I hope. And then any plants I want to keep, they're like double insulated with the actual greenhouse. And then uh, these, these containers, so uh, looking forward to early next year. Uh, where I can start these uh, plants off well even late this year December January so actually do when the heated bed is finished with um, and all my plants are started and then uh, I move them on I've actually made these little uh, slats to go across so I can actually you put my plants on let put them on the top and uh, let them harden off so um, I've also got I bought myself one of these um, the monitors which I've seen quite a few have on uh, YouTube which shows the uh, the maximum temperatures being in here which is actually 54.4 uh, the lowest has been is 10.7 and at this present time it's 27.7 
So it's it's a it's a useful little uh, thing for me. So I can see if it drops below freezing. So uh, that's it all completed and ready to go. Uh, and what a wonderful summer we've had, haven't we? Uh, June and July, absolutely gorgeous. Not so not so nice today, I'm afraid, but uh, I can't complain the way everything's gone this year. Uh, I've had a good crop down the allotment, and uh, I've had quite an abundance of uh, flowers in, in the garden. My, my shrubs and my uh, my uh, oh god, blimey, isn't it funny? You can never remember the name of things when, when you when you want want to. Never mind. It'll come to me in a minute. Going back to them, it's just come to me. Me dahlias. They've been I've had quite a good display of them. I've taken a lot of the heads off now. 